Good morning, guys. Welcome back to my channel. I'm a hot mess this morning. We just got to gymnastics and we are a little bit late. Um, I figured I'd vlog today, so we have to go in. It's 10 o'clock, her class starts at 10 o'clock. His class, Liam's class starts at 10, 10. And right now I have something in my eyeball that I cannot figure out what has been poking me in the eye. This entire morning and it honestly has put me in the worst mood ever because it's so uncomfortable and I feel like I can't see you know so okay so I will see you guys in a little bit do you see Miss Dawn Where is she? Ah, ah. Anna. Anna. Well, that's Miss Stacy. There's Miss Dawn right there. Now up the steps. There we go. And down the slide. Go ahead, down the slide. Hi guys. So we are back from gymnastics. We are in the car. We are in the Starbucks line because I'm not feeling the best today, so we did not sleep that great last night. Um, I didn't even get home from the mall. I went to the fashion show mall, which is like the big mall on the strip here in Vegas, and we didn't get home until like 10.30 at night. It was just me, my sister, my grandma, and the kids stayed home with Travis, but I just took Ryan. So, um, got to bed really late, probably around like I probably got to bed around like one-ish, midnight or one-ish. And then obviously the baby woke up for his feedings and stuff and Liam ended up coming in uh, my bed and ended up wetting the bed at one point too because we forgot to put a pull-up on him. He sleeps with pull-ups on. So we just didn't get the best sleep and then getting out of the house this morning was kind of crazy. I got us out of bed and tried to get us ready too late. So. Um, then we went to gymnastics and Liam had a hard time listening in gymnastics today. He was running off, um, probably just for like a portion of the class. He wasn't bad for the whole thing, but that was a little bit difficult and, um, just not in the greatest of moods today. So Mama, hoping my coffee can lift my spirits a little and Mama, get me in get a more of a, no frappuccino. You can get chocolate milk frappuccino. no you're not frappuccino. getting a frappuccino um help me get in a little bit of a holiday Why? spirit um we're getting over cold i think i'm actually starting a cold but ryan i've been trying to do updates for the past like few days and i just have not posted any of my vlogs i don't know why just every time i start to edit them i just don't like how my videos came out so i never posted them but ryan has been sick um just congestion so we've been you know doing whatever we can for him for that and um, the other two have been okay so far but it's been a little bit crazy we had a stomach bug happen then we had the colds happen and we're just trying to get everybody healthy and back feeling better and we have a really fun crazy weekend coming so my DAD is coming to town for a surprise um, Kylie's birthday is Sunday so her actual birthday she just had her birthday party but her birthday is Sunday what does DOD mean? <laughs> I don't know you gotta learn how to read but she's very close to learning how to read so I gotta stop spelling everything um, Mommy. she has a gymnastics event Saturday and then me and Travis are going to his company Christmas party 
that night, so that's gonna be kind of a rush. And then Sunday, all day, we're gonna be celebrating her birthday. So she, whatever she wants to do on her birthday, um, we're gonna do. We're gonna go see Frozen 2. What I'm gonna order, I have no clue what I want though. Perfect, anything else I can get for you? That's it. All right. So yeah, I've been really slacking with vlogging lately. Um, life has just been absolutely crazy and I've been wanting to start posting more than once a week, but to be honest, at the rate I'm going, once a week is hard enough. So, um, yeah, what else has been going on? I don't know, is Liam sleeping? Liam's asleep, so that proves that we've had really crappy sleep. But I think I'm going to update you guys today on Ryan. He is about to be two months on the 19th. And I'm obviously two months postpartum almost, so I'm gonna fill you guys in on how I've been and how Ryan's been in the last almost eight weeks. So this is Kylie's leotard that she's gonna be wearing in the Winterfest on Saturday. So they do them twice a year at her gymnastics. They do a winter festival and then a spring one. And they kind of like show what they've been learning. They do a floor routine, a little bar routine, beam, and then a vault. So it's like a little meet. And this is really cute. So this is their winter one for this year. She's a big girl. And then I'm gonna show you guys what I got at the mall so last night. So every year, Kylie also Obviously, they go to see Santa, so we get her a dress, and we picked this one out from, the lighting's hard to see, from Nordstrom. So I was gonna get her something red this year, and have all three kids kind of be in like a red theme together, but we fell in love with this one at Nordstrom. It's like a deep purple maroon color. So I think I'm gonna change um, the reds from being like beige, maroon like neutral colors for the boys and then obviously this is Kylie's dress and we got what we got this bow to go with it so she'll be wearing this to see Santa Claus and then she has her school Christmas program on the 18th so she'll wear this for that too so I thought that was so pretty and then she has a new pair of earrings from the Disney store because her very first pair that she was been wearing for like two years now, her gold ones she has, one of them fell out. And also don't mind my nails, Kylie did my nails for me the other day. Um, we don't know where it is. So she has these gold ladybug earrings that were like super nice, her first real pair of earrings. And she lost one, so we found her these at the Disney store. It's April birthstone, just because we like the normal diamond. Got a couple of candies from this store called Lolly and Pops, which I forget where I put the kids' candies, but chocolate flavored blueberries are my favorite. And then I got the kids some Christmas candies. Oh, I'm showing my dress. So, we have Travis's Christmas party Saturday. And I've been having such a hard time finding a dress because I'm only almost eight weeks postpartum, so I'm just not in the size I normally am. So I found this and fell in love with it. It fits so nice, it's so flattering. It's like this stretchy material. And it's like a glittery, I guess this is like a maroon color. And it's long sleeves, which is always flattering. And the way the shoulders kind of ruch up here it looks so nice on, it like goes on the very edge of your shoulders, almost off the shoulder, but not. And the material just like hugs your body. So I feel like with my body right now and how I am postpartum, I felt really good in this. And it's like, I think it's really flattering on. So I think it'll look good. I have to figure out what heels I'm gonna wear, jewelry and all that, but yeah. So we got them all yesterday. Okay, let's see what your dress looks like. Gorgeous. Do you like it? It's a twirl. Very pretty. Ryan. So Ryan's constantly looking up to his left all the time. He definitely looks at me and makes eye contact, but when he's just kind of like looking around, he won't look that way. He only looks 
up to his left, don't you? What is that about? What is that about? Would you like just like looking that way? Can you say hi to the camera? Can you say hello? So we're obsessed with the Frozen 2 soundtrack and we didn't even see the movie yet. No! We're gonna see it this weekend. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> you can't be in the vlog because you don't have pants on, mister. Can you talk and say hi to the friends? Say hi, friends. Say hi, friends. You wanna get those words out, don't you? Don't you wanna get those words out? Yeah. Oh, tell them. Tell them all about your day. Say, I'm almost two months old. Today, I want to share with you guys a little life update with everything that's been going on in the past seven weeks since we've had baby Ryan home. Um, Ryan will be two months on the 19th of December and right now it is December 11th and I'm kind of gonna fill you guys in on everything that's been going on with Ryan and some updates on me postpartum and how I've been doing also. So Ryan's last appointment was actually maybe a week or so after his one month appointment and you know every month they have um, their little checkups. Actually, I think after his two months, two month checkup coming up where he gets his first vaccines, I think he doesn't come back until four months and then six months and I think they skip it like that. That's how they do it. Our doctors out here, I'm not sure how they do it where you're from, but um, uh, he was nine pounds, one ounce, I believe, at his last appointment, which was a couple weeks ago. So he was born at seven two, seven pounds, two ounces. So he's not a super chunky baby. I think he's still um, a little bit on the smaller side. I forget what percentage he's in right now, but he is a little over nine pounds. And like I said, that was a couple weeks ago now. So I'm not exactly sure what he is at the moment. I don't weigh him at home. I'm not sure until I go to the doctors. So I won't know his exact weigh-in until the 24th. His next appointment is December 24th, Christmas Eve. He goes for his two months and he gets his first vaccines then and we'll know how much he weighs. But to me, he still feels like such a tiny baby. I feel like at the almost two month mark with my other two, they were super chunky already. I remember I looked at a picture of Kylie the other day and she had like the chunkiest cheeks and the chunkiest thighs already by two months. But she was also born eight pounds. So she was a little bit bigger in general, but he's just a little teeny thing. I wanted him a little bit more awake today, but he fell asleep. So he's gonna be napping right here next to us. And he is now in zero to three month clothing. He finally outgrew his newborn. I feel like he was in newborn for so long. And now he's in zero to three. And I've even put him in some three month sleepers that we have just because I have them around. And if they're a little bit on the baggier side, that's okay. But he definitely fits perfectly in zero to three and no longer in the newborn. I have to admit we are nowhere near a schedule yet with him. I have two other kids. If you don't know, I have a five-year-old, she just she's turning five this Sunday, and a two and a half-year-old little boy. And right now we're kind of in just survival mode and just whatever works, works, and that's okay with us. Eventually I want us to all get on a really solid schedule, but right now we're kind of just doing what we have to do to get through and to survive and to get some sleep and to get where we need to go each day. So he takes pretty good two, two pretty good solid naps for me, but he obviously has so much more awake time than he used to have. In the beginning stage, they just sleep for so long. They, you feel like they sleep majority of the day, which they do. Nighttime, he is in his Halo Bassin Nest, and we really like it. He's been doing really well. He's lasted way longer than my other two did in their bassinet. They always ended up in something else um, or co-sleeping. So right now, he's next to our bed in the bassinet. I don't swaddle his arms completely in anymore. I now leave them out. So it's kind of just like he has a little blanket, which is his swaddle. Um, I think I really want to get a sleep sack. So he obviously has a blanket, a safe blanket to sleep with. Um, but even sometimes he does well sleeping without anything, just his warm sleeper that he's in and he still stays asleep pretty well without being swaddled in or anything like that. I'm no longer really pumping, sad to say. I kind of wish I continued to pump to keep, you know, milk, to have a good milk stash in the freezer. I have a decent one, um, 
from when in the beginning you have an oversupply before your milk regulates to what your baby needs. And I have some stash from then. And then every once in a while, if he's taking like a super long random nap, I will pump because I get a lot of letdowns. So I feel like it's every single hour I start to leak. And I will pump if he's taking a long nap so I can store that uh, milk in the freezer and also so I don't get uncomfortable and leak everywhere. So um, he has not taken a bottle in a while and I haven't left him either. So everywhere I go, he's with me all the time. Um, there was one time where I left him. I went out with my sisters and for a night out and my husband said he did not want to take the bottle and it was actually pretty difficult. It was really fussy majority of the night until he decided to give in and drink the bottle and fall asleep. So I plan on leaving him again this Saturday for a Christmas party with my husband and I'm hoping he'll take the bottle. So I think every day this week leading up to that, I'm going to try to just give him one for one of his feedings and hope he takes it. I really wanted, I told myself with this baby, I'm going to do it right and I'm going to make sure he can take bottle and breast and I didn't do it because you know what? I am a, such a convenient mom. Breastfeeding for me is just so convenient. Every time I'm out, whatever, if I'm busy, I will just pop him on and he eats and that's that. And he will take a pacifier though, which my other two never did. So he takes a pacifier for me. Sometimes they're falling out of his mouth, so I've been trying to figure out which ones we like the best. Um, these ones are obviously probably the most popular. I think these are the Advent ones. Um, the Soothies and he takes these pretty well, but we also really like the Itsy Ritzy um, The ones from Target they have like the really cute designs. He's got like four of those I think of the Itsy Ritzy ones. I don't think I have one with me, but Yeah, so um, He will take this once in a while, but he won't take it if he's already really upset so if he's like screaming in the car seat I can't just put a pastor in his mouth to calm him down. He just will not take it unless he's picked up. He wants to be picked up. So that brings me to my next thing. He absolutely hates his car seat, which most babies do. So it's nothing too concerning, but I always feel so bad when we're out and obviously I can't do anything about it. And I know he's fed, he's not, he's changed. Nothing's wrong except he just absolutely wants to get out of his car seat. So sometimes he will scream and scream and scream until he just stops and falls asleep. And yeah, that's one thing that he does not like. Other than that, he is a very content, happy baby. He really never cries. We have not experienced any purple crying yet, any colic symptoms, nothing like that. So that has been a blessing so far. Um, I always say all the time how easy of a baby he is. Another really exciting update is Ryan has officially started cooing and smiling and making responses to me, Travis, and the kids. It is seriously the cutest thing. I could not wait to start seeing his first smiles and I feel like right when we hit the six and a half, seven week mark is when I first started really noticing his smiles. Liam, give me the chocolate. Give it to me. He's awake now. Another big update is that this past week, Ryan had his first cold. I was dreading this happening because, you know, with RSV and the flu and all these illnesses on the rise, it's really scary. RSV can be really dangerous for little babies especially and, you know, with other with my other two kids being in so many activities and school and things, I was so worried that he was going to get sick and of course he did. So, I started off with just some congestion and I noticed the one morning he woke up, he had a hundred and hundred point one fever. And my doctor told me that if the fever got up to a hundred point four at this little of an age that they wanted to see him. So I did reach, I contacted the doctor over the phone and she said to just keep an eye out on his fever. And if it did spike, I had to bring him in, but she just kind of gave me some tips on what to do for congestion until then. So we obviously have the little remedies saline spray and then to go along with that we have the humidifier running back there and I finally bought a nose Frida and I don't know where I've been with my other two kids but this thing is amazing so I'm used to just using the you know the rubber blue syringe bulb that they have in the hospital and that they give you and that you know you're just used to seeing but this is a life changer so the first time I used it, I actually vlogged it, but 
never posted it, but I just thought it was the coolest thing. You just kind of suck in the straw and there's this filter here. Obviously you don't suck up any of the snot, but it just, you can see it all in this tube. So you can actually see how much you're getting out. And then you just take this off to clean it and you change out the little blue filter. It's super simple. I think these are $15 at Target or Walmart or wherever you go. And yeah, that's been helping him a ton. He still has a little bit of congestion. I know it can last like up to a couple weeks, um, but no more fever, no cough, no other scary symptoms. But you know, it definitely is not fun to see your little baby have their first cold with struggling to breathe. And it's just, you feel so bad for them. Can you say hi to everyone? Say hi to everybody. This is the handsome. Yeah, say hello. You probably don't like the bright lights. I am so cute. I am so cute. Everyone thinks he looks the most like me. So at first we thought Ryan, or I'm sorry, first we thought Liam looked like me, but we think he looks the closest like his mama out of the other two. You look like your mommy. So I think now we're gonna move on to my postpartum updates. So obviously seven and a half weeks postpartum right now. Toddler is awake and I tried to have him occupied in the other room but he's just not leaving me to talk in this video. So I'm gonna have a couple interruptions. It's another reason that YouTube has been very difficult for me to keep up with lately, I'll be honest. I thought I'd have it under control i thought i would just vlog my life because after all that's what i do so just having the camera on my normal day to day i thought would be easy but any kind of filming is just always a little bit trickier when you have a third kid and days are just crazy busy all the time so hi you want to eat so i had my six week postpartum appointment everything looked great there was a little redness in my right breast over here and soreness and I definitely thought at one point that I had um, the start of mastitis and the doctor thought I did as well. It wasn't my doctor that delivered Ryan, it was actually a physician assistant, but she did want to put me on, she wanted to put me on an antibiotic just in case and I actually never ended up taking it because it really quickly went away. I think it was just a clogged duct, which I've had before. So I had a little bit of redness and soreness and like bumpiness in my boob. And from just massaging it and feeding him more on that side, it completely went away in like two days. So I didn't have to be on those antibiotics, thank goodness. Um, they did weigh me at my first, at my six week appointment and I was 136, which is a little bit disheartening for me because I'm usually the type where I'm usually really tiny and I think my max weight is usually 115, 120 max on a normal, my normal weight. So obviously when I'm pregnant, I do gain a, quite a bit. I gain like 45, 35 to 45 pounds with my pregnancies. That's just how I am. And, um, you know, I do have, I do lose it pretty easily as well, but I don't usually start losing weight until a couple months in. So breastfeeding helps a ton. I got really tiny after breastfeeding Kylie for over a year and back to my normal weight with Liam. But I remember in the beginning feeling a little bit discouraged because I felt like I wanted it to melt off right away and it didn't. And I'm just not used to seeing myself on the thicker side unless I have a big belly in front of me, unless I'm pregnant. So. The past couple weeks have kind of been, I've kind of been hard on myself because I'm almost two months postpartum and I just thought I would be, I would have lost a little bit more weight right now. But I also could be holding on to some weight for breastfeeding because sometimes that's what happens. Your body will hold on to some extra pounds to help you make milk um, when you're breastfeeding and other people lose it fast. So everyone's different, but I am just, there's definitely a good 15 pounds that I need to lose to be back to my pre-pregnancy weight and to feel confident. So that's how I'm doing physically, emotionally, mentally, I'm doing okay. Um, really good for the most part, but there are definitely some days where I feel overwhelmed and maybe a little bit down. And I know that's a lot of it's still my hormones fluctuating um, and especially not getting 
the right amount of sleep. Getting broken sleep can contribute to that. So I wouldn't exactly say postpartum anxiety, but just anxiety in general some days. Um, I've always, I always have anxiety anyway, even if it's not postpartum. So it kind of just intensifies on some days after you have a baby. And, you know, trying to get three kids ready for certain things or three, ki three kids out of the house or just the house keeping the house clean or doing laundry and getting daily tasks done while taking care of three kids can be a lot, especially exclusively breast, exclusively breastfeeding him. That takes up a lot of my time. And if the kids need something as I just sit down a nurse, you know, the, my son just officially got potty trained. So there's just so much going on. Why? Why? Hi, Smile. Um, and I notice some days I have really short patience and that can be anxiety, irritability, and lack of sleep for sure. So some days with my kids, I will lose my patience really fast and then I have the mom guilt that follows after. So I'm trying really hard to eliminate the mom guilt and just know that I love my kids. I'm doing the best I can. Three kids is a big adjustment and it will get a little bit easier. I'm hoping it gets a little bit easier. So I'm pretty sure my eye is getting worse. If you can tell over here, it's super red. And I don't know why. I have no clue what's wrong with it, but, and I hate to complain about it, but I literally can't open my eyes or blink without it hurting and feeling like something's like constantly poking me in the eyeball. So it's really annoying. And I'm just trying to get through this day. I'm trying to get some laundry done now. The kids are kind of driving me insane. I'm kind of in just like a biatchy mood and just not feeling it. I just hope this goes away by Saturday because I don't want to be going to Travis's Christmas party feeling like I look super awful with this eye. So you can definitely tell it's red right now. Um, I'm trying not to touch it too because I know it probably make it worse, but you guys know what this could be let me know I'm guessing it's a sty coming or uh, maybe a clogged tear duct I'm not really sure but it's not fun so I finally just got some laundry done and tried to clean up as best I could and now we are just kind of waiting around for dinner I have no clue what I'm gonna make to be honest I'm just not, today is just not my day. So, I have milk stains on my my nursing bra. That's exciting too. Um, my eye is still hanging in there. Sorry if this seems like a complainy vo uh, vlog and kind of like a Debbie Downer vlog, but when you're a mom, not every day is great and not every day is easy. Obviously, you know that if you are a mom or if you're watching my videos, you probably know. Um, but yeah, I'm probably gonna make some more coffee and just try to survive the next hour until Travis gets home. Um, I actually might run some errands tonight. I think I'm gonna run to Target and do an exchange of something for Christmas that I have to exchange for something else. And I also have to get either cupcakes or donuts or something for Kylie's school tomorrow since she's celebrating her birthday tomorrow in class and I'm most likely gonna go after I drop her off in the morning. I was thinking Krispy Kreme, getting a box of their like Christmas donuts or something, or cupcakes. Cupcakes are definitely cheaper and probably easier, but Kylie really wanted donuts for her class, so I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do yet, but I figured if I go out tonight, I'll check out some cupcakes if I see any at like Walmart or the, uh, the grocery store we have by us and just take a look at them. I'm so tired, oh my god. Today, it's just one of those like survival days where you're in survival mode and you're just trying to keep the kids alive. And I like days where I feel productive and I feel like we did fun things and I feel like I was a happy mom like I like to be, but today is just not one of those days. I felt grumpy from the moment we woke up and had to start our day because I did not get enough sleep last night. I just, uh, I think sleep is like the main culprit. Um, I can tell 
the nights when I get crappy, really broken sleep, I'm just not having it the whole rest of the day, the next day. And it's hard to like stay positive and happy with your kids when you are so tired. So that is that. Um, I hope you guys also enjoyed my update of postpartum and the baby and Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Make sure you hit the subscribe button if you want more complaining vlogs. <laughs> Just kidding. So um, I really want to do a QA and a with Travis. I actually posted a little questionnaire or question box on my Instagram if you guys want to go ahead and ask any questions for either me or me and Travis. Um, it can have to do with our marriage, being a being parents. You had enough chocolate milk. <laughs> Papa poop. Oh, say bye. Don't say poop. Say bye, friends. Papa pee pee. Bye, bye, friends. Papa pee pee. No. Love you. Oh my god. Okay. Well, there's. That. <laughs>